in my last video, we ended in Albuquerque, New Mexico's worst neighborhood. And after that, I finally made it into El Paso on my journey east. In this video, we will explore a little bit of Centro Ciudad Juarez and Ciudad Acuna, which also borders Texas. And most importantly, buy breakfast at a popular local restaurant because I want to. Drug cartels are sowing terror in Juarez neighborhood. Juarez have witnessed a shooting or have heard shots in the past three months. Their heads have been left inside coolers, abandoned in tubs. It is rough. It is ugly here. It goes without saying Ciudad Juarez is a dangerous city in some ways. But just like any other city with a reputation, I believe it's a bit overblown. It's early in the morning in El Paso. Let's walk over the border together and see how our neighbors on the other side are doing. If you like the video and want to buy me a coffee to show your appreciation, link is in the description. A thumbs up to the video and subscribing always means a lot. Thank you. Right now, we are going to go get desayunos in Ciudad Juarez for the occasion. I said to wear my sweater from Oaxaca so they won't know I'm a white guy. All right, let's go. Okay, it says 27 minutes as a walk, but it assumes that I'm built like a Walmart shopper, so we're gonna cut that time in half. I've come to see that Juarez actually like five or six times in the past, even at night, and it's always been really calm, really easy going. Food's always great. I would go with a friend who spoke Spanish, but recently after staying 20 days in Oaxaca, I feel like I've graduated. Now I can go over there I know kind of how things work, kind of. <laughs> Just enough to go get breakfast and come back safely. I need to exchange money. I have some dollar bills. And uh, we're gonna go turn them into pesos. Right, so here we are getting close to the border. You can kind of see there's a sign with an exchange number. Uh, looks like 18 pesos per dollar. Okay, we went to Nueva Central. Where's the desayunos? They have quite a bit of different things here. You now I got chiliquiles rojo y un Esponca. Esponca is what they call them, not, not conchas, but conchas works too, and then black coffee. So it's good, it's just like any other concha I've had, but I'm not gonna record myself eating, I'm, I'm just not. Okay, and chilequines. In Mexico, you can walk to just about any restaurant or a comedor and get food that isn't highly processed. This is just a random restaurant in the Chihuahuan Desert, and the standard is much better at a baseline. With that being said, the food was delicious. Here we are in Centro. So you walk down the main strip where the border is at, and you just keep going straight. It'll bring you right here to Centro. Let's go check out this church. It's a nice day today. Got some music playing. Life is happening. Okay, now that it's closer to nine, people are definitely warming up and uh, setting up for Christmas. We got like a Santa showing being set up over there. I don't know if this is a uh, old government building or what, it says uh, Palacio Municipal at the top, right up there. The Christmas tree up. I'm trying to get pooped on by all the birds. We just made a turn off of the uh, main road going back towards the border and I saw these murals. Thought they were pretty cool. So is this a movie character? Can anybody shed light on this? I don't know who Tintan is. Maybe it's a show in Mexico, a cartoon, I'm not sure. He's famous around these parts. Oh, okay. So he's a, <laughs> a public figure. He's, he's someone famous from back in the day. Tintan, I need to Google it. I'm ignorant of Mr. Tintan. If you know who he is, drop him in the comments for everybody else. We're gonna make our way back to that main road and um, cross back over. Okay, so we made it back over. If I would've known that line was like an hour and a half, I may have reconsidered going, but it is what it is. On my way over in the morning, I didn't really stop to appreciate this, but it is a very beautiful building. The Paso del Norte Hotel. Architecture is not what it used to be. So we have our inspection station coming up here, run by the federal government. And what I'm going to demonstrate here is how to be a free sovereign citizen in the United States of America. So now, we're being stopped by the federal government without probable cause. So what do you do in this situation? I'm no lawyer, but you know what I do know? 
you can refuse legally. We're supposedly defending the border, but we're <laughs> like 100 miles from the border right now, or 50 miles, something like that. Uh, but the more people refuse, the more people, um, you know, take a stand against this, uh, the less likely in the future this will be used against us. I just told her no, I'm not rolling down my window, and that's how you do it. <laughs> that easy. Or I have them on uh, camera directing me to go, so totally okay. Oh my gosh, what is happening right here? Hey, you can't park there! They did direct me through. I have it on camera that they did, so if I'm pulled over later on, I'll just show them the footage. They're like, hey, no, they directed me through. I didn't run the Border Patrol checkpoint. Most people don't know that they don't have to do it, I think, or they're just afraid of consequences, but you gotta remember, the consequences only happen uh, if we don't take a stand. We're free, we're free citizens. We have to be free and act free. The politicians don't give it to us, the Border Patrol doesn't give it to us, we are free. So I'm living as a free citizen, I'm not gonna submit to it. I hope all of you do the same. We're just road tripping the country and uh, refusing Border Patrol checkpoints. Freedom, baby, let's go. Here we are at the world famous Prada Marfa store that everybody loves to get selfies with. So now we have entered the town of Marfa. You can kind of see it's gentrified a little bit. That's because we're still in the middle of nowhere, yet most of these houses are hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, every place in America is practically now it is, but I mean, once we get closer to downtown, we're talking millions, I think millions for some. Um, and there's no jobs out here. An estimated 50,000 tourists visit every year. A lot of them are from Austin, being that it's only six hours away. In 2022, Vogue magazine named it America's coolest art town. Prices are higher here because of this popularity, amongst other reasons. There's so much more to be said about this town, but that'll have to be for another video. There are some really good restaurants, really cool art exhibits. You either love it or you hate it out here. It's not really my cup of tea, but I do appreciate it for what it is. I'm personally a fan of Trilingua in that area, opposed to, you know, Marfa, but it's all kind of bundled together as one big bend region. But Trilingua wouldn't be the same without Marfa and Marfa not Trilingua, I think. That's just my opinion. I like being able to come to both. But there's a lot of Airbnbs and short-term rentals that a lot of locals don't like, and, you know, I don't blame them. We are on Highway 118, going south towards Trilingua, Texas. We also have our friends here at the Border Patrol. Now we're in the Trilingua Ranch region. We see a lot of locals out here living off grid. We have Airbnbs scattered amongst the horizon. There are absolutely zero building restrictions out here. Coming over that last turn. gas station in town, one mechanic shop, I think there might be two now, a lot of restaurants, some bars. Terlingua is the closest town to Big Bend National Park, one of the largest and least visited parks in the United States. The remote location of Terlingua, the rugged and unforgiving terrain, and lack of population attract interesting people. Terlingua can be described in many ways, but it's a place you have to experience for yourself to understand. I bought five acres for $6,000 a few years ago, and I camped there for the night after driving around Big Bend for a few hours. Good news for you. If you want to buy my plot of land, I'm selling it. Email me. Good morning, everybody. We're going to get some breakfast in Mexico. This time, we're going to go to the border town of Ciudad Acuna. And I'm assuming the restaurant's going to be open. I'm going to call, see if they're open first, and then I'll drive in there. I've never been to Ciudad Acuna, but from the research I've done online, it looks like five to seven years ago, it was okay. I'm assuming that's still the case now. And this morning it's pretty cold, so I don't wanna walk. Um, eventually, I would like to start doing road trips in Mexico. I would like to do RV repair, drive my RV when I have an RV one day, maybe even take a caravan into Mexico. Once I have more experience, once I know where some of the best routes are, but granted Mexico is a very different country, very different rules, very different laws. But the only way you get better, more experience is by going. And uh, we're gonna go, <laughs> Check out Cedar de Cunha. I'm not gonna drive around, but we're just gonna stick to the Google Maps route that it tells me to go on. So let's go. And we're 
smack dab in the middle of Texas, right along the, the border. Here's what that looks like. All right, so we passed the Amistad wreck area. It's a pretty big deal in these parts. But I hope by watching this, you, if you want to go to Mexico, the media, people telling you not to go, who've never gone, keep telling you how dangerous it is. If all that stuff is in your head, I hope that watching this, you can see that I was in that same place. Oh, except in for my incoherent rambling, on, I never finished my you know, point. I hope I watch or something going right. to Mexico. And they're the ones telling you how bad it is, but it's never the people who go all the time. You can do this too. Oh, it's not no, that no. If you just exercise common sense and realize that people are living their lives day to day, you're gonna have a good time, no matter where you go. I, that's what I truly, truthfully believe. So I looked up the border wait times and they were not bad at all. And then they got bad. It is. A long line. So I had to pay 120 pesos just to um, go through here on this bridge. Technically, we're still in America. Boundaries and until cross appears. So let's see what happens. As expected, I was flagged for inspection. There's two younger guys in National Guard. They were kind, asked me questions about where I was going, my plans, and if I had guns. I gave them all my insurance documents, registration, and I was done in three minutes. Okay, now I follow my direcciones. Uh, the guy was very nice. He was laughing at my Spanish because I can't pronounce registración. Uh, it's, it's very difficult. But right, now we're gonna go left. Yeah, look at all these new cars. Oh, that's nice. Ciudad Acuña. Now I just follow traffic. It says the speed limit through here is 50 kilometers, which is like 35 through here is pretty quick. 35 miles per hour. 50 kilometers. Kilometros. All right. Topes coming up. Looks like they're building some houses right here. It's always cool to see. My first impressions is just like any other place in Mexico. Um, you have small markets, you have the inconvenient placements of topes and auto signs, stop signs. <laughs> and then, um, you know, houses, dogs, you know, just kind of like the way things are, it's the same thing. Move, dog, move. All right. So I found the restaurant, a little hard to find in the streets, uh, being mostly houses, but this area right here is all restaurant. Here's kind of a view of the back and the parking. I got uh, Huevos Benedictos. A pepino limonada, so it'll be delicious. <laughs> wow. Muchas gracias, señor. De nada. <laughs> Huevos benedictos y de pepino limonada. Cucumber lemonade. Eggs benedict. That looks delicious. Let me get to eating. It is very, very, very good. I am really enjoying the food. I haven't had Eggs Benedict in a minute. And it's just fresh as always. Delicious, very flavorful. Very messy, but so delicious. I never come down to like the Ciudad Acuna area or Del Rio, so I will definitely come back. I still have a lemonade to finish, so I'll be here for a minute, but I'm actually gonna have a 
I was using the translator to fill in my uh, Spanish, but I didn't know. Listo. Listo. Yo soy lleno. Pero yo tengo nuevo amigo, Christopher. <laughs> después, después. Yeah, no pasa nada. But for Christopher, I've prepared a translation. Say whatever you would like for the video. Start with your name and where you're from. But I can't translate it because I have no internet. Es mi nuevo amigo, Christopher. <laughs> yo soy Christopher y yo soy de Ciudad Acuña, y provengo de Guanajuato y yo soy chef de cocina. <laughs> hey, good to meet you. Good to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't have a specific destination now, but since I just finished eating, I'm just gonna put it uh, back towards the border and I'm gonna head back. But um, yeah, breakfast was awesome. The only thing that was sketchy was this man out there. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's just really drunk or something. I don't know. I asked him like, the hombre, borracho or no? He said, no, no, he's not, not borracho, not drunk. But that goes anywhere. It's just weird. I don't like when people are just watching me or, or whatnot, but even in America, it happens, so it's not like it's a big deal. I just hope he's okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna go the same way we went before. This is the area the restaurant was in. Pretty chill, pretty normal. Then you got a little park. Oh my God, Chihuahua. It's kind of a, a love-hate with the dogs out here in Mexico because I love having a free dog whenever I want to pet a dog, but I am very sad to see the dogs when they're not doing good. I'm just going to head back. We're going to have a 10-minute drive through the area and then uh, back in the States. Por de próximo tiempo, Christopher, ¿qué es tu um, recomendaciones? Uh, por restaurantes, por diferentes lugares, por de YouTube. If you see this, message me, bro. <laughs> or if any of you guys live in uh, Ciudad Acuna, let me know in the comments what would be a good place to uh, come back and check out. I don't really have a whole lot of time today just to hang out, although I would love to. But at least I'm able to show you guys, you know, a restaurant, drive through the area, uh, which I love meeting new people. I love meeting new friends. I think the line going back towards the border starts up here pretty soon. I see more traffic. Ah, yes, the roads with no lanes, my favorite. <laughs> it's more fun to drive here, I promise. Since I know where to go for doctor visits, my healthcare is a lot cheaper now. No need for insurance. There's a sign earlier from Monterrey or Saltillo. Down for a road trip? Let me know in the comments, let's go. I don't know the situation right here though. I was kind of following some people. Um, I knew it's not just a direct turn right before the border because there is a big line. Hopefully that's not the line because that's pretty insane, man. <laughs> Oops. The line was looking so chill. Now it's 210 minutes. You guys ever see that South Park episode where Cartman is like scanning for Mexicans? I decided to catch up on work because it is currently 3.15. Everything else is going good besides this weight, man. All right, we made it back without issue. I am so happy to be moving. <laughs> At the end of my journey east, I arrived in Mississippi to spend some time with my family. I'm considering exploring Jackson, Mississippi, the worst managed capital city in America. They had no trash service for almost a month last year, and it's one of America's most dangerous cities by statistics. If you'd like me to risk my life going to Jackson, your comments may inspire me to go. So let me know down below, should I go to Jackson, Mississippi? All right, guys, that is the end of the video. I really appreciate your support by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I really enjoyed making the video and want to make more like it. You can support my videos by donating to the links below or subscribing to my Patreon. By joining, you will get extra content that does not make it into the videos and isn't shown anywhere else.